Hi guys, I have received uh, my order from the Mirador and this order took about months and a half, two months roughly. I think Mirador had some problems with the face up as just I did order the door with the face up. Then you sculpt Sally in brown sugar. And so let's see. This time Mirador didn't send it by DHL and even refunded me the some of the postage fees. Um, because usually I remember, well, I ordered from Mirador about maybe a year and a half ago, or maybe two years ago, and they write by DHL, and it's usually cost me uh, in custom fees about an extra thirty dollars. Oh, yeah, thirty dollars or about um, twenty-five pounds possibly. Um, so that's nothing changed with Mirador um, in regard to packaging. It's still the same green box. So this Sally is SD size doll, and this is not typical for me. I don't usually go for SDs. And my last few orders from Mirador were so so 50 50. Um, there's some problems with them, but they all sorted out by the company, so it wasn't too bad. What I know is that the Mirador. So that's how it's sent with the melanine sponge or the magic eraser. What I know is that they don't string their doll very well before they send it. And I received some dolls with um, rust, uh, rusted elastic before um, in them. And I'm not sure what to expect color-wise because, as I said, it's a burnt sugar. And uh, if the resin is poor quality and that tan kind of skin gonna be weird greenish yellowish color very very quickly so let's see so I ordered the Sally with the face up oh. Oh, they gave me the blue eyes well I didn't ask for eyes but I uh, I'm quite surprised how Mirador uh, packs the dolls just in a soft bag and protects the Hands only. So we're suffering from the peanut problem here. The same one of these MSD's bodies, they have a very small peanut, and that's why the leg wouldn't. Elbows are better. So the peanut is big enough to actually hold it. She can't stand, unfortunately, at the moment. She's maybe too floppy and she's not balanced very well. But that's, like I said, that's expected. Oh, yeah, she can stand. Whoa. Okay. Okay, guys, so the pros and cons of the Mirador, uh, the Mirador uh, female body 62 centimeters. Um, I have done some work on it. Um, so she was hot glue suede and I restrung her. I did as well apply the kips. It's like a silicone things uh, here during the restringing only for the hips. I haven't done it anywhere else because I don't think it's needed. So why I've done it? Because I wanted to fill that space. She has very um, big kind of holy joints. Um, and I want to show you. So I was very, very generous with the uh, hot glue um, compared to what I usually do. Uh, and I think she needs more basically to fill these all gaps because the peanut is so tiny for the joints and that affects its mobility and it affects um, its balance as well. So the doll is still very unbalanced. It can, it hardly can stand um, on its own. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm not really happy about that at all. 
I don't understand what's wrong with her, whether she got even more unbalanced after the hot glue wading. I don't understand, it just, um, the, I mean, normal doll would just stand now, because trust me, it's it's quite a sturdy surface. Um, so, coming back to the hot glue suede, I've done the same thing here, lots of glue in here, lots of glue, so to allow her to have a nice articulation, in fact, she has now, she is much better than she was before. And also for her wrist, I put lots of glue inside because it's it was loose pretty much. The problem with the mirror doll I found, not only for this body, but previous bodies I had uh, for smaller scales, MSDs, and they pretty much poor quality resin. So you get the bubbles, the bumps, humps, lumps, um, you get um, uh, really rough joints like which has been sanded, like here, for instance. Um, it's quite sharp even sometimes. However, the inside of the doll is surprisingly clean. Um, and what I was talking about, the lump, so she got lump in here, and she has been sanded properly in between the toes, between the fingers. And also here, her fingers were unfortunately literally sanded down uh, on the tip to the point that actually they um, took off the, the finger which should be there. The wrists on this body are different size and that has a similar problem with the MSD body. If we look on her uh, chest area you can see the nipples are uneven and one is kind of looking there and one is looking there. N nothing wrong with this body as such, apart from what I just described, but it's enough for, to put somebody off to buy this body or not, I don't know. I bought the body um, only because of the sculpt. I love the sculpt and I thought to just buy the whole doll rather than just a head. I, I, I hate that, I absolutely hate these gaps that should not happen. I mean this should be sanded down properly this part um, and worked on properly when they send the doll I mean come on it's not a new body that body was out for probably a while now and sorting out these sort of issues I think it's is a common sense to me why don't you sort this out why um, I'm not happy the way it's been sanded either. Um, I would say I would prefer it to be not sanded because all these white marks they just they just destroy the the doll in my opinion because in you can see it um, in the if I use the doll for photography you were able to see that these marks the this white patches of sanding. The positives of this body are the price, um, it's the availability for hybriding and you can actually walk on this body and without being concerned about ruining it pretty much. So that's why I'm gonna practice all sorts of uh, things which I dare to do with um, more uh, expensive um, dolls. I don't want to offend anyone. It's not about the price, really. Like I said, I found the 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 doll before one of my videos, the cheapest MSD you can ever buy. Amazing quality, absolutely amazing quality, amazing articulation, and the people take a pride on their work. It's a Chinese company as well, but Mirador, unfortunately, yeah, that's just it doesn't want to listen to uh, their customers. And Anyway, sorry, I'm just a bit um, disappointed, I think, overall about the quality of the body. And um, I wasn't expecting a miracle, but I honestly thought that Mirador has improved in the last two years. I haven't seen their bodies. I struggle to change her eyes, in fact, because she's pretty much flat uh, behind her. 
it's very flat surface and change the ride was just really impossible basically my uh, blue tag which is white tag doesn't stick to this particular race and i don't understand why so i struggled big time yesterday okay i will stop moaning uh, but um yeah i mean Nothing wrong with the doll apart from what I just said. Like I said, if it's enough for you to put you off, well, um, this is very unfortunate. But this company still deserves some credit for the um, scalp, really. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.